Welcome once again to Ask the Oncologist. I am Dr. Stephen Pachi. In this episode, I will be talking to you about what a breast is. And then after that, we'll talk about breast cancer as this month is about breast cancer awareness. So the breast is a specialized gland. It is usually located um, on the chest of a woman or a man. So just to let you know that men also have breast as well. What is contained in the breast? The breast contains blood vessels, it contains nerves, and then it's made up of specialized structures that we call duct and then lobules. So the lobules are the structures in the breast that produce breast milk for a woman who is lactating. And then the duct collects the breast milk from the lobules and direct them to the nipple where the breast milk is let out of the breast. Another important component of the breast is the fat component. The size of a woman's breast is dependent on the amount of fat that is in the breast. Now there are other normal differences that you may notice or people may notice in their breast. For example, there are some women that have something that we call axillary breast. Axillary breast is when you notice that apart from the two breasts that you have in front of you, you also have a small swelling that is towards the axillary tail and then towards the armpit area. We call that axillary breast. Axillary breasts are not particularly unusual, but they can cause problems in women, especially when the woman begins to lactate. Just to let you know that this can usually be handled surgically. So if you notice something like that, if you notice that you have another um, small swelling, which is like a breast that increases in size just when um, you are lactating, just like the, the normal breast, this is usually what we call axillary breast and it can be sorted out surgically and then you wouldn't have to have issues with it. Another anomaly that is common on the breast is what we call multiple nipples. So there are some people who have more than just two nipples on either breast. There are some people who have other nipples located on the chest wall away from the usual location of the nipple as shown in this diagram. So these are also variants that can be seen in other people. Now, I want us to talk about a critical component when it comes to abnormalities that a woman can find in her breast. A common complaint is about finding a nodule or a lump in the breast. Now, any nodule or lump in the breast can be termed a tumor. Now, when we say a tumor, it does not necessarily mean that it is a cancer. A tumor is merely a, any form of swelling or any mass that is located that is not supposed to be at where it is found. It can be called a tumor, but it doesn't mean that it is a cancer. Most of the time when people notice that they have a tumor or a lump in their breast, they begin to panic. But one assurance I want, you to, I want to give you is that it's just about 10% of the lumps or the tumors that are found in the breast that at the end of the day turn out to be cancer. So what it means is that there's a high chance that that lump that you've noticed in your breast may not be cancerous after all. In as much as it's just about 10% of lumps that are cancerous, it's still very important that if you notice a lump in your breast, you follow up and get it checked out. Perhaps if it is something that requires urgent care, you can get the care early enough so that you prevent it from getting um, out of control or from getting advanced before it is diagnosed. What are the types of tumors that can be found in the breast? So it's either a benign tumor or a cancerous one. When we say a lump is benign, what it means is that it is that swelling or lump in the breast that does not spread out of the breast. So the lump will merely remain in the breast, just increase in size, but it does not spread out. It doesn't send components of itself outside of the breast to other parts of the body. So this usually will only cause symptoms or signs at the site where they occurred, at the part of the breast or in the particular breast where they occurred. And they usually are not fatal. Whereas we have lumps that or tumors that are malignant or malignant breast lumps. These tumors are the main concern. In fact, 
these tumors they grow increase in size and they are able to send components of themselves to other parts of your body so this type of lamps are what we call malignant lamps most of the time when we talk about breast cancer awareness our focus is on the malignant lamps because these ones are the ones that can cause problems so where does breast cancer develop from as i mentioned earlier on the breast is made up of lobules and that and then it also has supporting tissues that make or that give the breast the physical appearance that you see now any of these cells or any of these tissues in the breast can change itself where the, the cells grow out of control and then they begin to not respond to the body's control mechanisms when this happens the cells now become neoplastic and then when they obtain the ability to send components of themselves outside of the breast then we term this a breast cancer or we term this a malignancy in the next episode i'll be talking about risk factors for breast cancer so i want you to stay tuned and then don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss the content that will be shared on this platform. Thank you and see you in my next video.